As the sun shines on all of my glory My flaws don't look so bad at all What was I so afraid of? Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome or welcome back to Lox Lux Lifestyle. Welcome back to another video. So today I am back with another retwist in style with me video. So let's get right into it. My hair is freshly washed right here. Y'all see the hang time. So y'all know the drill. After I wash my hair, I always follow up with an oil. Today I'm using my Talia Waheed African Healing Oil and I'm just applying that throughout my scalp as well as squeezing it into my locks. I recently posted um, a video talking about all the oils that I have tried on my hair. So if you're interested in any hair oils, I would link that video down below in the description box for you to go check out. So for retwisting today, I'm going to be using the Style Factor Lock Booster Lock Titian. You guys have seen me use this a couple of times now. So I use the Lock Booster to smooth out my parts and my edges, all that good stuff. Um, and you guys know I usually use my hands to part the back of my hair. So that's what I'm doing here, just taking a little bit of that product and smoothing out the parts. That way I don't have to use as much product like on the individual locks and now I'm just going ahead and doing my retwist and then I pin with the clip and if this is your first time watching I usually do like a combination of like the locksmith method as well as palm rolling So yeah, I'm just doing a basic retwist, so I'm just going to continue to go through and retwist all my locks individually. So after I've finished retwisting, I'm going to go in with my Nairobi Styling Foam and I'm just going to apply that through my locks. I often get questions about like how I keep my edges laid. Um, setting them helps. So before I go under the dryer, like when I do my retwist, I'll like style my edges and then I'll make sure to hit them with some setting foam as I'm drying and that helps kind of set them in place like the way that I like to lay them. So yeah, setting foam um, helps as well. But after I get all the styling foam on, I didn't have any paper strips y'all. So I'm going in with a stocking cap and I'm just going to apply that over my head to kind of keep my locks in place and help them set better. And dare I say, I kind of like the stocking cap method um, better than the wrapping paper. I feel like my hair dried a lot faster with the stocking cap compared to the wrapping paper. So this may be like my new method, uh, we'll see. But after I get that on, I'm going to go with my blow drying cap and apply that on top of my head. I didn't worry too much about getting like the ends of my locks in the cap. Sometimes it's a bit much, um, but I really want to make sure that my roots set. So 
I'm going to sit under this cap for about maybe 20 to 30 minutes and then I had some other things to take care of so I just let my hair air dry with the clips in for a few hours after I did this part. So here I am later in the evening. I pretty much kept the cap on and the clips in for the remainder of the day while I took care of everything that I needed for the day. Um, my hair was dry at this point. So now I'm going to remove all of the clips from my head. So here is how my hair looks after all of the clips are removed. This was a really good uh, retwist. I think it came out really good. But y'all know me. I gotta do a style. So <laughs> I'm going to be styling my hair to, you know, make my retwist last a little longer. So I was looking at some pictures from early on in my log journey. And I used to wear like barrel twists like four to six barrel twists going straight back so i'm going to be doing something similar but i wanted to do like a little curl detailing on the corners of my head so i'm slightly twisting them together not to like create an actual two strand twist but just to keep them out the way and then i'm going to go in with some nairobi styling foam again on those two locks in the corner and then i'm going to apply some perm rods to those two locks so you know i can have some little curly details um sideburn type of situation so that's what i'm doing right here And now I'm going to start creating my barrel twist. So the barrel twist, basically you kind of start with one lock at the center. Um, you use that kind of like as an anchor. And then you're going to take a lock from each side and wrap it around. So I have my center anchor and then every go around I take a lock from each side and wrap it around. And it creates the barrel twist if that makes sense. So that's what I'm doing here. I did um, about six. I usually do four to six depending on how many braids I want or twists I want going straight back. And then when I reach the nape of my hair, I just secure it with a rubber band and I just leave the ends loose because I'm going to be doing like a bun. So yeah, I'm just continuing that process. So like I said, I hadn't done barrel twist in a long time, y'all. And I got to the third twist and I completed it, but I don't know. I wasn't really feeling it too much. Barrel twists can be a little uncomfortable if you twist them too much. Um, they're a little bulky, not bad bulky, but they are like kind of bulky. And I don't know, I just was not feeling it the way that I used to enjoy this style early on in my lock journey as you guys can see they don't look bad i just personally wasn't feeling it so when i got to the other side of my head i'm starting by doing the same process of rolling those corner locks for my little curly detailing but i decided that i wanted to see how like just some cornrows would look so this is how one side looks with the cornrows and how the other side looked with the barrel twist and i decided that i wanted to do all cornrows so i'm taking the barrel twist out and i'm just going in and 
corn roll wing <laughs> those um twist instead and i just preferred the braids over the twist but it's all a matter of preference like i said the twist didn't look bad they just weren't too comfortable and i don't know something about it i just wasn't feeling so yeah i'm pretty much doing the same process except i'm braiding and when i braid my locks it's just like braiding loose hair you section off the area and with each turn or each braid you grab locks to add to the corn roll the braid um so that's what i'm doing and then i braid it down as far as i can and then i secure it with a rubber band I also left two locks um, in the nape of each corner loose so that I could roll them with some perm rods as well. Um, I personally don't like to braid down to like the last few locks just because it has the tendency to pull. And then I figured that adding some more perm rods for curly locks would add a little more detailing. So now I'm just taking those loose ends and I'm kind of playing with them, wrapping them together to create a bun. Now this is something that you just kind of have to work with depending on the size of your locks, how many locks you have, all of that good stuff. When it comes to making buns, you kind of got to just work with it. I feel like my buns never look the same. But yeah, I'm just playing with it and creating a bun into the shape that I want. And I'm using scrunchies and rubber bands to secure my bun. And then lastly, I'm just going to go in with my Style Factor Edge Booster to touch up my edges. Um, some of them got a little messed up in the process of braiding and rebraiding. And then I went back in with some more foam. And I'm just going to apply that over my braids to kind of set the style in. And then I'm going to tie my hair down. And I let this sit overnight with the perm rods in just to make sure that the curls set properly. And here is the final look, you guys. This was definitely like a super easy, low maintenance style. Literally just tie your hair up <laughs> at night and take your scarf off in the morning. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Snatched by Charmel. And I will see you beautiful people in my next video. Bye.